Hey, today I'm doing a brisket on this Gourmet Guru Grill. Now this is my first time ever smoking a brisket on a Komodo style grill, so I'm anxious to see how this turns out. Now I'm also gonna give away a couple of these Armadillo Pepper logo t-shirts today. We've got the male version, and I also have the version made just for the ladies. So stay with me and I'll tell you how you can win these. All right, we've got, after it's trimmed, we've got a seven pound brisket flat. And what I'm gonna do is dry brine this guy. And the general recommendation is about a half a teaspoon of salt per pound of meat. So this is seven pounds. Um, that would be what? Three and a half teaspoons. I actually have four here I'm going to use. Just a little bit more. So what I'm going to do here is just salt down both sides and we'll put it um, on this uh, raised rack pan so you can make sure it gets air under it. And I'm going to let it sit in the fridge all night for this salt to do its brining job. It's going to add some flavor and it's going to help keep, keep it moist when we smoke this guy starting tomorrow morning. So this will be in the fridge dry brining for roughly uh, for let's see, 12, about 16 hours um, before we start the smoke. Just going to put our brisket on here and I actually didn't use a half a teaspoon um, so it was closer um, to uh, to the three and a half teaspoons. Now, um, you can put this in the fridge just like this. What I will do is just lo very loosely cover it um, with cellophane. Now, what you can do is put this in the fridge just like this. Just make sure you know no, no other food touches it. You know, obviously it's uh, raw beef. But we'll pick this back up tomorrow. Okay, our brisket's been in the fridge overnight. It's about 10 after 7 a.m. in the morning. You can see here that all of the salt crystals are now dissolved. I'm just going to season this with this Oak Ridge Barbecue Black Ops rub, Black Ops brisket rub. Um, this is one of my favorite rubs for brisket. And um, I'm just going to season both sides and then um, just kind of let this sit on the brisket. Uh, while we get the uh, Gourmet Guru Grill ready. Let this sit here and then uh, let's go over to the grill. Now I am using this Fogo Lump Charcoal uh, today. Uh, what I've been using is this uh, Royal Oak. You can see these are the sample size piece of the royal oak but this fogo lump charcoal is uh, much larger and uh, I've at least read for these uh, Kamado style grills for a long cook the larger chunks are better so we're going to give the fogo a try this bottom vent on the Gourmet Guru open um, about between three quarters of an inch and an inch and then we've got the top here about uh, halfway um, probably end up uh, being close to this position for most of the cook it's been holding at about 230 now um, for about 15 minutes so let's get this brisket on For the wood chunks, I've got a little um, oak and a few pieces of mesquite. I want to cook this on indirect. So I've got my plate setter here. Okay, we've got the plate setter in. I'm just going to put this pan here to help with the cleanup.
then um, we'll just let this brisket go. When it gets up to around 150, 155, then I'm going to wrap it. All right, it's been three hours. I know it's not ready. Just want to check the temperature, see how far along we are. And I'm going to miss this guy. Uh, I've been missing it about every 90 minutes. Okay, we're about 145, 146. Awesome. Okay. So um, I'm just going to put my uh, other probe in here so we can keep a close eye on it. Just going to get this other probe in here. Okay. And then missed it down again. And like I say, when it gets up to about 150, 155, we'll wrap it. Another hour and a half, so we're looking at four and a half hours total. Um, you may have noticed I pulled the one temperature probe out. My probe went bad, and it's not reading correctly. So we'll see what temperature we're at now. Looks like it's around 152. I'm going to take this off here, 153. I'm going to take it off and go ahead and wrap it in foil. I'm just going to pour a little bit of that beer in here. Apple juice works great. Like I said earlier, I didn't have any. Okay. Just going to get this guy all wrapped up nice and tightly. Nice and tight. And then get this guy back on the gourmet guru. And I'll probably check the temperature again in about three hours. Okay, it's been two and a half hours. Seven hours total. Oh wow, it says we're up at 205. I'm surprised it got to temperature that quick. Two oh three there. Two oh three there. Okay, so I'm going to take this guy off and we'll get it wrapped up in a towel. Okay. Just going to wrap this guy up. So the total cook time. Uh, only seven hours, which um, I'm surprised, but uh, anyway, it is what it is. And uh, we're not going to be eating dinner for a couple of hours, so I'm just going to sit this guy inside the cooler. And we'll be back in a couple of hours. It's been two more hours, so seven cook hours, two hours resting in this cooler. Let's give it a cut. Still plenty, plenty warm. Looks like my foil wasn't so tight. My towel's gotten a little dirty here. Oh, wow, it's juicy. Let me just clean this mess up, and then we'll be right back and cut this guy. So um, the grain on this uh, brisket's uh, running like so. 
so um, what we'll do is uh, cut a few pieces off here. does have a nice smoke ring. Let me see if I can't bring in a little bit closer. So you can um, see the smoke ring around this guy. Pulls apart really easy. Alright, so I'm going to give this a try. Uh, but before I do that, you want to win those t-shirts I'm doing one giveaway both t-shirts leave a comment below everyone that leaves a comment will be registered to win the t-shirt you don't have to subscribe hey we'd love for you to subscribe if you subscribe you'll be sure to see all of our new videos but that's not a requirement oh wow this brisket is tender you get the smoke um, as I mentioned, this was my first brisket on a Kamado style grill. The smoke is there, it's not overpowering. I wish the bark would have gotten a little darker. I think maybe I wrapped it just a little bit too soon. The flavor of the bark um, with that Oak Ridge uh, uh, brisket rub, it, it's good. It's just not as uh, dark and crunchy as some of the other briskets I've done. Flavor's awesome. Hey, thanks for watching. <laughs>